Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this section, we will learn how to create an email notification in Merge using Google SMTP. On my screen, you see that I have three reports which we already built recently in our uh, past video. Let me just show you what it looked like before we started, okay? So basically, we have three reports, employee report, pro product report, and store report. I use three transformer, and these are the information that I'm pulling the data from the database. We have three transformer, okay? So let us deploy the channel. And there you go, three report. Let me just open so you can see what's inside the report. That's just um, fake data, okay? So there are three report right there. Let me just move this away so we can start view a uh, email notification for the channel. To view a notification is pretty much very straightforward. Uh, it's just another destination. So let us go ahead and add a new destination. Okay, and we can put it here. Email notification Google SMTP. And click the drop down on the connector type, choose SMTP. Okay, so let me stop here real quick. Uh, I want to explain to you guys something before we start. Basically, if you are working in your company, they already have the SMTP hosts uh, and the port and things like that. So um, pretty much you can just use from them and it should work. Um, but in this case, we are working on a local merge. So um, we try to do this uh, using Google SMTP hosts. Okay, so the host that Google use is that. And the port is 587. Okay, and use that one. Click use authentication. So basically, this is where you put your email address. And uh, of course, you're going to put in the password. Okay, and two, I'm just going to send to the same email. And from you can just put that, and um, I want to be clear on this from right here, from email. You can put anything. Um, doesn't have to, the email does, does not have to exist. It, it does not have to be valid, okay? So you can just uh, blah, 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 email at gmail.com. That's fine too. It's not gonna validate the email. But the two here is important, okay? And of course, the username and the password of that email account that you own. All right, so the subject, we can just put um, report test, okay? And for the body, we can just put that. An attempt was made to generate the hospital report. Report names, and you can put in um, the map uh, generate here. Let me correct that because we have three report, right? So report names, and then we, we put this in, the map channel name. And then if you want to put in the location, uh, which is I have right here, I store in a local, okay? So just put it there. This is just an example of uh, a, uh, a simple notification uh, for 
for instance, you have a, you have a client that um, you send the report or the messages every week, every month, or every day, whatever the case is, and you want to um, the user want to receive a notification, so she or he can know that hey, the report just delivered in that particular folder. Let me go check it. Um, in one hand, on the other hand, you also receive um, uh, an, an, a copy of an email. For example, you can put here, blah, 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 put in your email address. So at the same time, the user receives the notification, you also get the notification. Um, Known that, hey, you know, it's, uh, it's already uh, delivered the file for the user. Okay, so that's the whole purpose of this uh, video. Moving to the next step, I'm going to show you how to um, configure the setting in Gmail account, okay, in your Google Mail account. Because if you do this and you send, for example, you send a send test email, um, in some case, if you're not familiar with how these uh, parameters work, it's not going to work. You will not receive in uh, the notification in your Google Mail. Okay, so let me just move a, uh, a setting from the other window that I have open, uh, which is right here. Okay, so this is the email account that I have. When you log into your email account, make sure that you go into the setting and click right here forwarding and pop IMAP okay there are two places that you need to uh, to aware of the first one is IMAP access click enable and then save the changes right here okay click enable and save the changes I already did that so make sure I, I think when I uh, the default setting was disable IMAP okay so you have to change it to enable IMAP and click save next go open up your google account okay not your gmail google google account okay now if you scroll down when you click your google account information on the left hand side you should you should see a security uh, section right here scroll down a little bit until you see Um, let me see. Oh, right here. I forgot. Secure app access. As default, I would add this what default. This one was off. So make sure you change it. Okay. And I don't remember if um, uh, you have to save it. But if, if there is a save button or they pop up, they, they want you to confirm that this is true. Just go ahead and accept that. Okay. But what I'm saying, this have to set on. Okay, and I believe that when you set it on, you will get a, uh, a notification in your email, uh, in your in inbox. It's gonna say that hey, you know, some someone changed this uh, security um, setting. Is this you? Please accept it. Something like that. You should receive that message in your email. Okay, so make sure you take care of this. All right. So first thing, let me go back. Change to enable the IMAP. Click save, and then right here, uh, as a secure app access, turn it on. All right. Okay, so this is the email that we're going to test. There's nothing in there. I cleared it out already, okay? So let me move this aside real quick. And we're going to go back here. And we're going to send a test email. And you will see what happened, okay? All right, yeah, I'm gonna drag this over. You should leave it here a little bit. See, you see that? So this is a test email generated from Merck. Okay, so example, if you type in the wrong email address, let's see what's going on, right? Uh, one, two, three, okay. Let's send a test email. Hmm, you see that? 
it will pick it up it will validate the email address for you all right so that's how it is I change it back test it again see so this is good the first one we did that earlier and this is the one that we we did it like a few seconds ago so let's just clear that up okay now we are going to um, deploy this channel and what you will expect to see is that you will see the three report gonna generate in this directory and you will expect to see three emails notification to in your inbox okay you ready click save as always and deploy channel one two and three see all right bring it over here now it's coming get the first one second one and the third one you see that so let's just open one we see it this is the same message that we type in um, here okay where is it at there you go um, see that this is the same message an attempt same okay so it tell you what file is already sent out and it's gonna email you or the client or whoever okay so in this session we learn how to create a email notification using Google SMTP I hope this lesson is useful for you guys it's been a while I know it's been a while that I haven't I haven't have time to create um, a lot of video lately but uh, I will try my best to put uh, more time into it and uh, I will make more video for you guys okay if you like this video and you think it's helped you uh, during your day um, please give it a thumbs up and help me support this channel I will continue to con uh, I will continue to record more videos for you guys in the future in the coming day uh, until then take care you guys uh, and God bless thank you